Here at Saudi Arabia's embassy in Washington, Ambassador Adel al Jubair is the kingdom's chief representative to the United States. He says Saudi Arabia has a lot to celebrate. So the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has made great achievements in terms of infrastructure development, in terms of education, um, in terms of job creation, opening up its economy, attracting foreign investment, uh, encouraging small and mid-sized enterprises, fostering a national dialogue among Saudis. Uh, Saudi Arabia, under the guidance and leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah ibn Abdelaziz, launched an interfaith dialogue that brought uh, adherents of the major religions, uh, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and cultures uh, together to uh, um, emphasize their common values. Ambassador Adel says one of the most important recent Saudi initiatives is the King Abdullah Scholarship Program, established in 2005. Saudi Arabia has launched a, an, inc an incredible and unprecedented scholarship program for its youth um, that today uh, se sends over 160,000 of our young men and women to study at the best universities all around the world from Japan to the United States. Uh, they, will become, they will come back to Saudi Arabia uh, not only, um, not only uh, with the possession of solid education but also with knowledge of the world um, and this will contribute to the advancement of our society and our country. There are more than 85,000 young Saudis studying at universities across the United States. It is the day when was uh, when the country was uh, created, founded by, uh, <laughs> sorry, founded by uh, King Abdulaziz, and uh, it was a great day. So that's why we celebrated. Oh. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It's like grow up in that day. So we have to celebrate it. Every national day, the embassy holds a celebration. We uh, celebrate the national day every year uh, at the embassy, and we look for this day, for this great moment, as a chance uh, to meet uh, the Saudi community here in Washington. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, a large group of uh, Saudi students who study at the States and we have uh, uh, Saudi tourists and businessmen as well. It is also an occasion for Saudi diplomats to express their loyalty to the country's leadership. I want to congratulate the, the custodian of the uh, two holy mosques and the Crown Prince Salman and the deputy uh, the deputy Prince uh, Megrin and the leadership of the uh, government of Saudi Arabia. Even if they are outside the country, Saudis everywhere will soon be celebrating the birth of their modern kingdom. The United States is one of Saudi Arabia's closest strategic allies, and it's home to a large number of Saudi scholarship students, diplomats, and business people. On Saudi National Day, many of those who are able will be here at the embassy to celebrate. Burton Bolak, KSA2, Washington.